What's your best tip for a sportif there, Bullet? <laughs> oh, he's done. Oh. Yeah, he's done himself. Right, Bullet, I'm doing a sportif. I've entered a 100 kilometer sportif. All right. You're not coming, all right? No, I'm not. You got to work. I've got to work to earn the next bike. Yeah, that's it. Always bike, bike earning. <laughs> Two, what, three weeks? Next ride I'm going to do is with Bill Ollie from Superior Level. We're going to do the Limmer Fleet. You love that one? That's good. So, here we go. Tip one, bloody wake up early. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Damn. Morning commas. That's catching up on behind the con. Enjoying that one? Yeah. Hit that bloody like button, please. Thank you. Things I have to do for bloody likes these days. Hit the like button. <laughs> Subscribing number only matters. Baywatch. Now this is one of the best tips, double porridge I call this. You put oat milk in and we just call it double porridge. People say about overnight oats, uh, all you gotta do is just leave yourself a few leftover chips. They're, they're overnight chips we call it. Perfect carbs. Make sure your van's nice and clean if you're going to Sportif as well. But you must have a tip. You should probably watch a video on GCN. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, she's not wrong. And they know what they're talking about. The next tip is, no one's ever said they took too many gels on a Sportif, all right? So you only regret the gels you don't take with you. You got a little problem between your legs by the look of it. What's your best tip for a sportive there, Bullet? Plenty of training in before and then have about three rest days before. Just take it steady, enjoy it and put, of course put the right gear on for the right weather. Don't do what I've done on a boy hot evening where full fit and good gloves, long trousers and long uh, um, overcoat. This is what not to do for a sportive then. Any other mistakes you've ever done on a sportive? Hit a pothole. Yeah, yeah, well, that's just a daily occurrence for you. <laughs> yeah, you busted your tyre up, didn't you? Yeah, I've gone through plenty of those, plenty of those over the, month, over the years. Sounds Probably like just, conquer. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm still on the motorbike. Right, just on his bike. Most important thing, just like underpants, Always have fresh tyre levers. Nat's trying to get mould out of my bottles. Should have done that last night. Or, or six months ago. Always prepare as well. Get your recovery ready before you go. Yeah. Get your pink monsters in the fridge. So they're nice and cold for when you come home. Right, always arrive early. Don't leave it to the last three minutes to get to a sportif. That's, uh, that's another tip. I'm, I'm very late now to the start of the sportive training. So today we're doing Limmer Fluke. It's about a 50 mile climb, 50 mile climb, 50 mile row. We did it, Phil, love it, you know the one. What are those? You're gonna be a bit cold, aren't you? He's on his knee already. Have you fallen yeah. off your bike, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Stationary at the time. Oh, he's, oh. Done, he's done himself. What not to do? So this is going to be what not to do at your first sportif. <laughs> <laughs> he went down on his arse as well. He Can't believe that. I missed that. Yeah. Always get there early. We were chatting in the sun. Stayed locked in that side. I moved myself. Lost my balance and went over. That's a good idea. Your socks over your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're made for that. Oh, I don't think. Really yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right, sportive tips, make sure your bike's nice and clean. Doesn't matter what you look like, Dave, but make sure your bike... How often do you wash that bike? After every ride. What, so every six months? No. <laughs> oh, oh, boom, boom, here we go, here we go. I've had me coffee. Right. Bit nice bottles, Bill. Well, They're actually, a bit, a bit let, let me just explain what these are. Um, these are like thermos. So you can put this in the fridge or freeze. You could freeze a drink and Cheers. then a bit later... Ah. Uh, a bit later, then, then it's just sort of cooling off and you can suck on an ice cube. At least it matches your, your sock. And the good thing is nobody knows you've got Stella. Amy's back. I heard you had a little crash like Dave. Did you have a little crash, Dave? Well, it just fell off. Oh. Just, you just missed it. Oh. 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 Nice, nice and right. clean. It's fairly clean. For and a shaved legs, look. One of the biggest sportive tips is whatever you do, don't turn up hairy legs. They don't like it, all right? They won't let you in the feed station, so get that fluff off your leg. Well, quite a similar smoothness now. So you catapulted yourself into a field, are we here? No, I landed on the road. Oh, oh that okay. wasn't it's that dramatic. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I did go over the handlebar. Straighten them out? Yeah. Bloody hell, Ollie. You were in McDonald's this morning. I was. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be top tips for your first sportif. Have you ever done a sportif? McDonald's, yeah, I did, did one. What's your best tip ever? Stay on your bike. Stay, stay on your bike, Dave, bike. right? Let's stay go. On your bike. <laughs> I had to take paracetamol this morning. Seven cans of cider last night. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, first cat feel. What's your best tip, your first sportif? Not to go out too hard, really. Yeah, about that. 
Right, they say don't start too hard. Okay. We're, uh, we're definitely not doing that. Any PRs? No, no PRs this morning. First feed stop of the day, and we're uh, 0.4 of a mile in, first feed stop. <laughs> Tip for feed stop, don't rely on them. Always take your own stuff because you might you might get used to energy, high five energy gel and they might only have Kendall Mint Cake energy gel. Yeah, where is Kieran? I was hoping he was going to rub his bum on his bike. Well, he's just he's just put on the messenger that he's uh, he's gutted he's not here. 10 pints in and get a taxi over. <laughs> 10 pints. Bloody hell, it's like rugby days. Right, What's happening? Loving life, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Superior level customer? He is actually. Actually, uh, I think he might have won one. No, oh, he didn't. He, no, he didn't. He got, cheeky brought, he got brought one. Oh, just thought another one. You know, timing chips. When you go to a sporty, sometimes you get a timing chip put on your helmet. Make sure you never take that off. Even if it's five years old, don't take just it off. Just in case there's a, there's a timing mat somewhere. Yeah. Good luck at the Dartmoor Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You, you missed your timing chip there. I think that's from about four years ago. <laughs> First out in, how much money? 20, 29.99. Decathlon, you decathlon. know who loves decathlon? That's a nice little pocket in the back. Yeah. We got, oh, that is, no, that goes through oh, that, oh, that's clever. So it's get, off. Through your, uh, yeah. get me, go straight to my phone, go straight to my jellies. Your phone's not in there though. Make sure that's in there tight for the bloody descent. What PSI are you running? 105. <laughs> 105, never fail. Oh, Ollie's up firm as well. 100. 100. I've gone for 90, a bit wider and a bit fatter than you. Got a cushion your lungs, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you local legend on this bit. Yep. You kept that bloody quiet. Yeah, he's on the old Strava. Yeah, on the old Strava. So you're telling that bloke about Strava a minute ago. Dave's showing off to the bloody locals already, talking about Strava comms. Paul, Paul's been on the fish and chips like me and Nat last night. Fish and chips and uh, cider. Had a few chips yeah. instead of overnight oats. Bloody runner, is that Lewis Rich? Bloody lost your bike, Ben. Supposed to be running up here, mate. <laughs> no proof. So, Ollie, what's the, another tip then? Make sure you go for two shits before you uh, go for a sporty. The one, the one this morning wasn't enough. The, uh, the cider from last night's taking its toll. Rough cider? No, no, only factors, mate. I wasn't <laughs> going to go. Are available. Ah, yeah. I wasn't going to go rough because I knew he was out on a bike today, so. Oh, he did, huh? You dropped your guts going up past the bloody cemetery. Me? No. Yeah. I can't even risk Need. dropping my guts. <laughs> um, especially with those shorts on. They'll be all over the it'll be all down your leg. It'll be all sick in a minute. <laughs> it's Mark Adam. Give us a wave, Mark. <laughs> knee all right, Dave? Yeah, knee. Still on? Just come off now. Oh, little bug. I don't know when that came off. That's all right. It's the cheek in the arse. <laughs> I have a brand new fib shorts on, I thought I could have put a hole in them. Yeah, you don't want that, that's the worst thing you do. I'll get too close, cold sore on my lip. Oh, want to get rid of that for <laughs> November? <laughs> well, I laid up, Dave, because I thought I'd be waiting at the top of the hill for you all day. Oh, now I'm a legend on this as well. Are you local legend on yeah, the toll road? Yeah, one of these. Bloody local legends everywhere. Right, here we go, real food on a sporty. We, uh, this is what you have to do on a training ride, just add a tandoori. This is what training rides are all about. So we've got two weeks out from the sporty and we're just having a bike fit, live bike fit here. How's your bum, Dave? Yeah, it's not too bad, actually, thanks. Cool. Oh. Jam sandwich. Gluten-free jam sandwich. That's got, I'd rather eat that, honestly. Apricot jam. Right, that's 10 miles an hour average so far. That's an hour. Uh, free, free hub. Oh. Free ride. Oh. Right, our favourite bit on the way to the best bit of the day, this bit, isn't it? No. Yeah. We've got Avi to hide behind up in front. We should be... Oh, that's the Ollie. Oh, that's Ollie. Better set up camp, aren't we? Wait for the wait for the others. No better place to be on a day like this. Pub. 
big yeah, beer garden. Right, sportive tip, always stick together. Don't just drop your mates, all right? Just because they got kids gearing and they can't keep up, they keep pedaling like 120 RPM. It's still there, mate. <laughs> Only down there, you can go for one down there. Bang over the edge, yeah. Catwood! How's the saddle, all right? Shit myself. Oh, I reckon you did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's three quarters there already. No, we're not going back that way, are we? Going up there. Right, we've learned our lessons. Wear them in, get them a week before, because that was scary. <laughs> we don't discuss that on this Mine channel. Mine is 7.9. We've got some breaking news, haven't we? Dun, dun, dun.